Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So nice to have you here today. If you enjoy the content of this video, please take a minute to subscribe. It certainly helps my channel to grow and I'd love to have you on this journey. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my perfume haul, my blind buys. I have never smelled these perfumes before. So this was big for me because I'm really picky when it comes to perfumes. And let me just tell you, this was so much fun and I've discovered perfumes that I didn't even think that I was going to like that I ended up loving. So let's just jump right on into the first one that I got, which is by Prada. It's called La Femme Absolue. And this is a limited edition. It came out in 2018. And the box alone is absolutely adorable. But wait till you see the bottle. That is really, really nice. I can take that out. I'm going to toss my box. All right. Now, the bottle itself is super cute. If you look at the back here, you have the chevron print. And then in the front, it says Prada. And then also on the cap, it says Prada. Now, this is a very unique fragrance. It's very rich smelling. It smells classy. It smells like money. It smells expensive. It's a beautiful fragrance. The main notes in this, the main accords are it's sweet, it's warm and spicy, balsamic, it's white floral. There's chili in here and there's also broom. And when I say broom, I'm not talking about the kind you sweep with. I'm talking about the broom, which is the twigs of the Spartium Juncium flower. And that is a flower that gives off the note of leather. Sometimes it can smell like orange or grape. And it also has Tolu Balm, which is a tree from South America. And that tree is called the Myroxylon tree. And they make little slits in this tree and a dark brown sticky, substance comes out that has a very strong floral essence to it and i think that's why this this juice inside is so dark and brown but it's a beautiful fragrance you get a lot of spiciness in the opening and that spiciness stays throughout the entire experience it does settle down a bit where it starts to warm up with some florals and then you have some vanilla in there as well not a lot of vanilla but just a hint of vanilla which makes this gives it some sweetness now as far as longevity it does fairly well it's about four to six hours and then on as far as sillage it's about moderate which is an arm's length still great performance a very nice fragrance if you enjoy spicy fragrances that are different unique and you want to stand out a little bit this is definitely one to look into you don't smell a lot of people wearing this so this is a great fragrance and I'm going to put in my description box all the links to where I purchased these fragrances so you have that. All right, next on the list, of course, of course, I've heard so much about it, Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And actually on Facebook, I belong to some fragrance groups and I was chatting with a Sarah Harris and she is a well-known blogger in Poland. She's the number one blogger there and she talks about different fragrances. She highly recommended this fragrance and I'm going to put her link in the description box as well because she has some great information and some great viewpoints on fragrances so you should definitely check that out. But I am thrilled that I listened to her because I love this fragrance. First of all, let's take a look at this adorable bottle. Jean-Paul Gaultier does such a nice job with his bottles and also his fragrances. Absolutely stunning. Now, the juice inside is mind-blowing. Honestly, I'm not exaggerating. This stuff is so beautiful. If you love honey, this fragrance is for you. came out in 2017. The fragrance has honey in there. It's sweet. There's some white florals in there, some citrus and patchouli. There's also some notes of peach, some gardenia, and then there's a licorice in here to keep it interesting. Now, I would describe this as a sexy, earthy gourmand for sure. As far as longevity, it does great. It's six to eight hours. As far as sillage, it's heavy, which means it goes past an arm's length. You will definitely get noticed wearing this fragrance. I highly recommend it. If you've been sitting on the fence, whether you should get it or not, jump off that fence and get it. It is so worth it. Absolutely love it. And I got this one 
on Amazon. I'm going to put the link in. It was actually a really good deal. So I will put those links on there. Next, I got by Givenchy, I got Ange au Demon, which I mean, believe means angel or demon. This is a very interesting fragrance. The bottle itself is very unique. And I'm going to go ahead and show that to you right now. And then we'll get into the fragrance because that's really different. All right, the bottle is super cool looking. And it has like these ridges on the back. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can, which is really cool. Let's talk about this fragrance. Now, this came out in 2006. It's really different. It's almost indescribable what I'm smelling. Now, I've heard other reviewers say it smells like hay, like what the cows and horses eat. But I don't really get that. And it's interesting to me how noses can interpret fragrances so differently. I do get some licorice and I don't think there's any licorice notes in here. This is a really cool fragrance. I have never smelled anything like this before. It's balsamic, aromatic, sweet, warm and spicy, vanilla. It's got some ylang ylang, cumin, saffron, some creamy rosewood, tonka and vanilla. Now it's really interesting about this fragrance, hence the name. It starts off really almost sweet, soft, like an angel. And then as it dries down, it really deepens and darkens and becomes very full bodied. Hence the demon maybe, it just gets really heavy. It's a very, very unique fragrance. And it's something that I would recommend as well. Now longevity on this one is really, really good. It's eight plus hours and the sillage is heavy. So you're going to walk into that room and, and you will get noticed with this fragrance. What's nice about this fragrance, not everybody's wearing it. You will definitely stand out. I am really, really happy that I bought this and I almost didn't because of the review saying it smelled like hay. I'm like, oh gosh, it's going to be awful. It's not guys. It's great. Take a chance. I think you'll be very happy with this. I also got this on Amazon and I believe I got this, I think it was less than $65 if I'm not mistaken. And normally it's like 130, 140. So definitely look into this one. I think you're gonna like it. All right, next, Jean-Paul Gaultier again. Why not, right? Okay, love, love this. And I also love, I should mention, I love the, the containers they come in. It's so cool, like this can. All right, let's look at this bottle. This bottle is beautiful. It's got all the little intricate little roses and gold around the neckline and then the body of the perfume is just stunning. But what's really, really stunning is the juice inside of this. It's beautiful. Now, interestingly enough, there are only three notes in this fragrance, pear, vetiver, and vanilla. And you would think it would be such a simple fragrance, but it's not. It seems so complex, so rich, so sultry and intoxicating. It's almost, it's also a little bit aquatic. It's sweet. It almost smells woodsy. It's just a very, very unique fragrance. Now this came out in 2019 in Europe, and I believe it's just this year come out in the States. If you can get your hands on a ball of this, definitely go for it. I think this is the 3.4 ounce. I bought this one on Amazon. I think it was 75, which is still really good, especially since I think they sell for 130, if not more. But what I really, really like about this is it's sultry and this has to be one of the best fragrances with vanilla in it. The way the vanilla is done in this is perfection. Now, as far as longevity, it's very good. It is about six to eight hours. The sillage is heavy to enormous, which means you will definitely get noticed walking in a room wearing this. It's beautiful, it's classy, it's stunning, and it's very different. So this is another fabulous, fabulous fragrance. All right, lastly, I have by Chopard, I have Casimir. And this is another great fragrance. This is actually from 1992. It's been around for a while. Guys, this fragrance is so good. If you're not familiar with this, this was, I think, the least expensive out of all the ones I bought on Amazon. 
and it is very 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 unique it almost smells edible it's that good and i'm going to talk about the main notes it's balsamic vanilla warm spicy sweet fruity there's peach and apricot in here there's cinnamon there's vanilla so it smells like this just this decadent pie that has cinnamon on it with vanilla i mean it's that good it also has a popadox on there which is like a sweet myrrh it's the cousin to healing myrrh which gives off like a honey type of aroma so you get a little bit of a honey scent in here as well but it's an all-around gorgeous gorgeous fragrance longevity it's great six to eight hours and sillage about moderate arm's length i personally think because i've been playing around with this a little bit i think it goes further than an arm's length personally but everybody's different this is a great fragrance too and i have to say i don't they're all equal in my eyes i am so pleasantly surprised and pleased with my purchases i'm blown away that i lucked out now i actually bought nine in total four of them are exotic fragrances and i'm saving that for my next video and i'm totally blown away by them as well and i stumble upon these by accident and i'm not going to say too much about it because i want you guys to be surprised and i think they're overlooked so you'll be and they're very inexpensive and you guys will be like blown away how good they are as well so i'm saving that for the next video but out of these five all five are fantastic they they all get two thumbs up i would love to hear from you guys comment down below have you ever done a blind buy before if you have what fragrance was it did you love it or did you hate it honest truth I want to hear i always respond to my comments and then thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video i really appreciate that enjoy the rest of your day and stay beautiful don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know the next time that i upload see you soon